Welcome everyone to video number two of the New Day Trading Strategy. In this video, we're going to be talking about support and resistance. So everyone has a basic understanding and is completely clear on what we're talking about when we say support and resistance. Price reacts off levels within the market. Okay, so if price is rejecting here, this level's holding price down, we're gonna call this resistance. Now, if price breaks above this level and then respects it on the opposite side, this resistance has now turned to support. Now, this level up here, if we have previous interactions here, and I can just drag this across really quick to give you guys kind of a, an idea. Price has previously given us signs that there is a level here that it has rejected from and fallen from. This level up here, since price is currently below it, right, because we're right here, since we are currently below this level, this is a resistance. Okay, this resistance turned to support once we broke through and held on this side. So if we come up here to our resistance, we can expect to see reactions off this level, possibly return back to our support, back to our resistance. However, if this resistance breaks, it will then be support. Okay, so let's label this one here, support now. It all really just depends on what side of the level price is on. So if we're above the level, it is support. If we are below the level, it is resistance. And to give you guys a conceptual understanding, price moves back and forth, bouncing between some kind of support and resistance. Now let's dive into the charts really quick and we'll mark up a few examples just so I can make sure you guys completely understand this concept. All right, we got UJ pulled up on the four hour. Now, just as a general idea here, we have a resistance right here. Okay, this is our resistance. And if we drag this across, we can see that it indeed does turn into support. So resistance has now turned into support. All right, now I can do this, I can do this all the way up and follow these moves here. Price reacts, showing a level of resistance. Take this over here, which then turns to support. So let me clone this. Very simple stuff, guys. Look, I can follow this all the way up. We have another resistance. Price finds resistance, breaks above. That resistance then turns to support yet again. I want you guys to pay attention to how price it's moving between these zones, respecting them on either side. Support turns to resistance, resistance turns to support. It all works the same. When you're drawing your zones, you just wanna make sure that you are including the reaction points and that the zone is respected from both sides. Price needs to respect these areas on both sides. All right, let's look at one more example. All right, look at this area in here. We have a clear support through here. Just lining up my interaction points all through here, okay? This support, let's go ahead and label it, make sure everyone understands. Got our support here. This support is going to turn into resistance right here. Price rejected from it, again, respecting it from both sides. Again, if I just drag this across, see right here that we came back and we saw that price respected it as support again, and then again as resistance right over here. All right? So price reacts from these levels. That is a brief explanation of support and resistance. That's how it changes. This is what it will look like. Uh, if you have any other questions or you're still unclear, you need to go through the support and resistance section of the platform. Now, this is going to conclude this video. 
I'm going to hop over to video number three.